hello everyone today i want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x cubed equals to uh, 2 and we can find all the values of x i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section uh, and now here the very first thing we are going to do is here first we need to convert uh, the right hand side into the cubic form uh, so for this we will uh, take a cube and cube root at the same time in the right hand side uh, so our right hand side is written as uh, x cubed is equals to we write this term as a, a cube root of 3 and its whole cubed you know that uh, this cube and cube root are cancelled out by each other and we again get our root. And now here in the next step we move the term from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as x cubed. This is positive term. When we move in the left hand side it will become negative and it will be written as cube root of 2 and its whole cubed and this whole equation equals to 0. And now here uh, we apply the nice cubic formula you know about that uh, if we have uh, a cubed minus b cubed it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square so here we uh, use this cubic formula so uh, after applying this formula we write our above equation as and you see here the base of this term is called the a and the base of this term is denoted by b so uh, when we apply here the above formula this equation is written as uh, first you, first we have a minus b the value of a is x minus the value of b is cube root of 2 into now we have a square so here our a is x and it will becomes x square plus a b so a is x and b is a cube root of 2 and plus b square so b is a cube root of 2 and its whole square and this is this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here uh, we need to add or subtract the like terms uh, also uh, first uh, we can uh, rearrange the terms and then we break this equation into the two cases so uh, here you see that uh, now first we can break uh, this equation into the two cases uh, and the first case is we write uh, x minus cube root of 2 equals to 0 this is the first case and the second case is we write x square plus x times of uh, a cube root of 2 plus this is a cube root of 2 and its whole square and this is equals to 0. And now here further in the next step we need to focus first in the first case and from here you see that this is negative term when we move in the right hand side. Uh, it will becomes here positive so we get the first uh, real value of x is equals to cube root of 2 this is the our first real root of the given equation and now here in order to find the other roots we need to solve this quadratic equation uh, so uh, in order to solve this first we can just write uh, we can uh, convert this equation into the simple form uh, so for this uh, we will just take here uh, the value of uh, these two values is equals to some uh, some number positive number okay so uh, here or, uh, or in other words you can just directly solve this problem without any substitution so that now here I can just directly solve this problem uh, by applying the quadratic formula first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 1 B is equals to cube root of 2 and C is equals to cube root of 2 and its whole square so these are the uh, values of a B and C and now state the quadratic formula as X is equals to 
माइनस बी प्लस माइनस स्के रूट ऑफ बी स्क्र माइनस फोर टाइम्स ऑफ ए सी डिवाइडेड बाय टू टाइम्स ऑफ ए दिस इज आवर क्वाड्रेटिक फॉर्मूला एंड नाउ वी सब्टीट्यूट द वैल्यूज ऑफ ए बी एंड सी हेयर द वैल्यू ऑफ बी इज क्यूब रूट ऑफ टू वेन यू पुट इट हेयर इट विल बिकम्स माइनस क्यूब रूट ऑफ टू एंड प्लस माइनस स्क्र रूट ऑफ दिस इज बी स्क्र एंड आवर बी इज इक्वल टू क्यूब रूट ऑफ टू and its whole square and minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is equals to cube root of uh, 2 and its whole square okay and it is divided by 2 times of a so the value of a is equals to 1 and now uh, in the next step Uh, you see here we need a little bit simplifications here and we have this is minus cube root of 3 and plus minus here you know you see that these two terms are common so we take it common here and it will after taking common it will be written as cube root of 2 and its whole square into when you take common this term we get here 1 and from here when you take common this term we will get here uh, minus 4 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to 2 and now here in the next step we need more simplification and it will be written as x is equals to minus cube root of 2 plus minus you see that when we apply this uh, square root separately on both of these values then this 2 and this square root are gone and we get here cube root of 2 into a uh, square root of this is 1 minus 4 and 1 minus 4 equals to minus 3 and it is divided by 2 and now uh, further in the next step uh, you see here this is cube root of 2 is be the common term so that uh, Uh, we will take common this term from the numerator or in other words we will just uh, break this fraction and it will be written as a uh, uh, cube root of 2 uh, and plus minus cube root of 2 into here we know that when negative sign appears inside the square root it will becomes iota so you get here square root of 3 into iota and we can apply this two separately on both of these values and now uh, this is the our final answer in other words you can just little bit uh, more write this into the simplified form and you see here the exponent of the denominator term is 1 and the exponent of the numerator term is 1 over 3 so the bases are same then we subtract the exp exponent from numerator to denominator and it will be written as uh, minus 2 to the power of 1 over 3 minus 1 plus minus from here we have 2 to the power of 1 over 3 minus 1 we write a cube root of 3 in the form of 1 over 3 okay and we move this uh, exponent to 1 uh, in the upside and it will be negative sign here and we get a square root of 3 into iota and now uh, we have this is Uh, minus 2 to the power of 1 over 3 minus 1 is equals to minus 2 over 3 and plus minus from here we have 2 to the power of minus 2 over 3 into square root of 3 into iota so uh, finally we have we take common this term and we get here 2 to the power of minus 2 over 3 into Minus one plus minus square root of three into iota. So this is the uh, second complex roots of the given equation, and we have one real root of the given equation. So this is our final answer, and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.